Oh, shit. It's, oh, man, we're doing it outdoors today. I'm so excited. We're back again, boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another so so production. We're doing it on Wednesday, April the 12th, 2023. We're outside. Once again, I've been waiting for a day like this. I've been waiting for a day like this. We're doing it. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Wherever you are, we're outside. We're outside. It's sunny. It's uh, We're sitting at around 18 degrees right now here in the city of Toronto, in the GTA. Wherever you're tuning in from, whether it's here in Canada, down south in the U.S., further down south in Mexico, further down south than that, all the way down to South America. Are we skipping over? Are we jumping over to Africa? A little bit of, little bit of Europe, a little bit of Middle East, a little bit of Asia, hopping over to New Zealand and Australia, maybe, wherever you're tuning in from. I hope you're doing well. It is Wednesday. It's halfway through the week. It's the first day that I can wear a t-shirt here which is really nice i'm excited boys and girls wherever you are i hope it's sunny i hope it is uh i hope it's a beautiful time that you're having to yourselves i'm excited boys and girls ladies and gents a lot of things to discuss we're just uh again we're getting back out and it is one teeny tiny baby step at a time that we're going to be doing this thank you once again for joining me let's get into it let's have some fun Let's have some fun. Let's get a sip of this bad boy for a second. I'm just having a... I'm having a few moments here, here and there. You know when uh, you stop and pay attention sometimes in life and it just... Uh, certain things happen that may be completely, absolutely nothing. They might have no meaning to them on the surface. Or, you know, it all depends on how you look at it. It all depends on how you look at it. I just showed up to this little beautiful park here that, you know, and I, I don't know, this is a beautiful park around my home, but I don't know how long more I'm gonna be getting to see it because down the line, I definitely do wanna be doing some traveling. But I arrived here this morning and I noticed a little teeny tiny beautiful sticker on this bench behind us. It said, great things or good things take time. Be patient. Some along those lines. I can't actually remember the exact. Well, that was that was the messaging. Good things take a great things. Good things take time. You know. Oh, it said never give up. Good things. Yeah, that was that was a little. And it's like, sure. Is it just a sticker that somebody stuck on it? Yes. Is it a? Is it one of those? You know. Is it a? Is it a feel good sticker? Yes. Did, did I feel? Good? Yes. I hope you feel good about it too. It's not just that though. Other instances happen in life where you're like, man, this is not the most clear-cut glitch in the matrix, if you will, but it is something that's like, oh, we're having, we're, we're skipping a beat right here. We're freezing time right here. Something that wasn't supposed to happen is little by little happening. Like, for example, you could be just in your living room slash the studio apartment studio kicking around a little teeny tiny stress ball slash soccer ball. Which you, you don't usually use at first, you know, it, it is a stress ball. I don't know where I got it from, but it's in the shape of a t teeny tiny soccer ball. And, I, and I, when it's on the floor, I'll kick it every now and again. And it's a round ball. It's a regular round ball, a spherical ball, if you will. And I kicked it yesterday and it went up on a... There's a ledge right by the balcony door, about three, four inches tall. And the balcony door is placed on top of it. I guess it's the framing of the door, if you will. Three, four inches off the ground. The little ball, as I kicked it, it went and hit the ledge. And it flipped up in the air. And it landed dead straight on top of the ledge. And it's just a teeny tiny sliver of a little space. But the ball stood still. I'm like, oh, weird. But also cool. Was it the Matrix glitching? Maybe. Similar instances happened... Uh, if you're out there flipping water bottles and it happens to land properly, it sticks to landing, you're like, oh, right, it's not supposed to happen, but it happens. Also happens to take place in forms of, let's say you're reaching for your pack of smokes. You take a dart out of the pack of cigarettes and then you toss the pack of cigarettes nonchalantly onto the coffee table, it lands 
Not face first. Not on its back, no sir. No ma'am. But on one of the sides, which is... Beating the odds, really, and it's happened several times, and it's moments like that that I'm like, yes, dreams do come alive, yes, we, we do take naps, yes. Dreaming is pretty dope. Keep on dreaming. Chase the dreams. Chase, chase the dreams, is what I say. But it's little things like that, it's little, you know, and it's, it's up to you and me to take the time to notice. Is it something that we need to pay attention to in depth? Maybe not, but is this something to be like, hey, hey. That's kind of cool. And that, it's nice to say that about things that happen in life. Now, other things that are cool that I'm happy about, ladies and gents, it's warming up right now. And my eczema seems to be going down. It's reverse flaring, which is really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, been months of applying ointments and uh, getting in my own head. I'm like, what is this? And every year it happens. Every other year it'll skip. So I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I beat eczema. Maybe I cured eczema. It's done. It's over. Then it'll come back again. But it's uh, mostly I think it's just because it gets really dry and cold in wintertime. And uh, I, I do the moisturizing and all that shit. But still, I think it's a little bit of like, you know, just a cold and your extremities being exposed. Your face might get a, you know, oh, what is that? A blemish on your face? What did, what did you get? You know. Is the wind hitting your face so hard it's, it, it feels like it's cutting right on the right on the surface of your skin? Is it irritating your knuckles? Is it, you know, yeah, it might be. It might be, but then again, we have days like this where it's warming up, baby. It's warming up, and yes, eczema seems to be gone, which I'm super happy about. What is replacing the eczema? I'm glad you asked. Uh, good old springtime allergies. It's allergy season. I started sneezing like crazy last night. Couldn't, uh, had a difficult time sleeping, not gonna lie. Woke up like two, three, cause it was just like, it's too much, too much mucus, too much. It was just like coming out of my nostrils. I was like, oh, let me get up in the middle of sleep and blow my nose, which is no bueno in the middle of sleeping. You don't wanna, you know, unless I, I wish I like, you know, cause I do sometimes talk in my sleep sometimes. Uh, I would say probably more often I do talk in my but here's the thing I do sleep alone so it's like uh, sometimes I'll catch myself like I'll speak I'll say something I don't even know what I say but I, I'll wake myself up but I'm pretty sure I've uh, dropped a couple of lines here and there but yeah that's you know that's not here and that's not there the point that I'm trying to make is that yeah I had to wake up in the middle of the evening and just blow my nose several times but it went away this morning which is really nice i did go out for a walk yesterday and there was a bunch of construction zones that i walked by and the wind was just coming through sweeping up all the dust and into your boy's nostrils into my right there in the sinuses in the back of the brain which is good i'll get a rinse free rinse free sand rinsing of the old brain why not dude it's uh you know you don't look a gift horse in the mouth you don't uh That's really all the sayings that I've got in the old pocket in terms of gifts. What what else do they say about gifts? Uh, to, to give a gift is to receive a gift. Feels good on both ends. Feels different. Giving is definitely different than receiving. Taking is definitely different than providing but it's nonetheless feelings it's feeling but we're outside boys and girls and it's it's wednesday we're here in the middle of the park it's a beautiful day the birds are chirping uh, out in nature uh this is a beautiful set the setting is nice uh the trees are going to be you know they're still not green there's some greenery behind you but you know the flowers and the trees have not yet blossomed but we'll get that going we'll get that going i'll, I'll make a couple of phone calls you know, we'll tweak a couple of things here and there, press a couple of buttons right there, you know. And before you know it, this whole place is going to be covered in all sorts of beautiful flowers and the trees are going to be just filled with a lot of birds doing the dirty, dirty to make new birds. Which I'm in, su I'm, I'm, I'm in support of that. I'll support nature trying to multiply. Let's go. Let's go. All, you know, all. and I support birds mating, dude. I will facilitate it you know if, if you're 
a bird and if it's just like if you're banging in that bird nest then it's a little bit loose if i'm in the neighborhood i'll just like i'll hold it up until you and those are the thank yous you're hearing in the background you're like thank you for watching thank you for looking out you're welcome it's what i does it's what i does but giving is nice receiving is also nice i did uh Happened to cross paths with a beautiful gentleman yesterday, which was super dope. Uh, I was outside because the weather was not as nice as today, but it was fairly nice. And I'm like, let's start walking, baby. It's springtime. Let's get some mileage on the legs. Let's start doing the old one, two step. And I'm walking, listening to my music, listening to my tunes, just trying to be like, that's, you know, a little bit of exercise, a little bit of it's just good to be outside again. And all of a sudden, a beautiful gentleman just stops me. As I'm walking and I have my headphones on, he's like, hey man, they messed up my order here at Tim's. Would you like a coffee? And he had this large iced coffee, two of them, and I, I guess they give him an extra one or something. He's like, yeah, they messed up an order. Would you like, and I was like, are you serious? I said that, and he's like, yes. And he handed it to me. I thanked the beautiful gentleman. He walked away and I took the drink Walked a little bit further down south, past the Tim's, walked in, got myself a straw. Thank you very much. It's a paper straw. I'm not too happy about that, but we're all changing. We're all uh, learning, adapting, growing. Does it pain me to use paper straws? Absolutely. But again, do you look a gift horse in the mouth and be like, I'm not going to saddle up this uh, pony right here right now you no you say giddy up you'd spank that pony on the ass and you start riding and that's what i did with that iced coffee thank you very much was there initial thoughts going in you know it's and here's the thing this is actually got me it got me to think do you take a drink from a random person in the middle of the street if they were to offer it to you you know if somebody's going to be out there giving you know a soda pop to you uh glass a uh, glass of milk or iced coffee do you take it from them and i don't know uh, but it was an instantaneous moment of surprise um it caught me off guard and i had to evaluate the situation one you got a free drink and it's a medium to low i would say it was a i'm not sure if it was a medium or a large it was a decent size plenty of ice just something I normally drink myself. So I'm like, let's evaluate this situation real quick. And thoughts went through my brain immediately. And I was hesitant. I'm like, do I take the drink? Uh, do I not take the, am I thirsty? Let's, let's go through a pros and cons list. Am I thirsty? Out on a walk, beautiful weather, working up a sweat. Yes, a little bit thirsty, one might say. So is that, do I even like coffee? I happen to love coffee. So it's like free iced coffee. So again, another pro right there. Uh, other pros of this interaction. I'm not saying we're friends now, but should this fellow need a hand somewhere? I'm all hands up, baby. Let's go. You need a, you know, because that's what it is. Now we're, yeah, I don't know what to call it, but it is a beautiful moment. It's, it's a form of a friendship. It's a form of a, here, let me see this random fella. And just make his day a little bit by handing him a free cup of iced coffee, which just hit me right here. It was beautiful. But there is that initial, there's a little bit of hesitancy as, as well. And I'll, we'll get into that. But the beautiful thing about it is that you make a friend or a beautiful acquaintance, at least for a moment, even for a brief moment. Um, you know, what else is there to say about this bad boy right here? This situation, if you will, it's pay it forward essentially i see that and it influences me because i'm easily influenced like that i'll see a fella handing out free drinks i'm taking it and right now up in the register it's registering i'm like oh you're gonna go out there one day and you're gonna give that back to somebody some some way you know may you know maybe i won't go for like i i gotta watch my spendings and whatnot maybe i won't like you know if, the, if it's if it's just gifted to me randomly and i'm not like Spending, I'll give you a small to medium. I'll give you a small to medium free drink on the house if I, you know. And it's man, it's duly noted right here. So it's like registered in the brain and I'll pay that shift for it because it's just nice. 
And that's what it does. And little by little, we, we together we're creating little teeny with little teeny tiny hammers of good gestures, little teeny tiny chinks in the matrix, if you will. Because like regular world, you're supposed to be like, oh, I got an extra drink. I'm just gonna guzzle these bad boys all to myself and work this bladder out. You know what I'm saying? But no, this fellow was like, you know what? I got one large drink in one hand. That's plenty for me. Let me give this extra drink to somebody else. And little by little, my friends, people start seeing it all around us. All around us. People start seeing it. Yeah, they start seeing it. Because it's happening right around them. Or they're around it. It's happening. They're in the cent We're in the center of it. And the people are witnessing it around it. And what's happening? There's the programming's getting a little... Oh, what is that? Somebody just pressed the... You know, we're, we're doing some... We're doing some editing right now. This ain't supposed to happen, but I guess what? It's happening. So all of a sudden, people start handing each other stuff that they no longer find use for and is extra to them, but is useful to others. Next thing you know, we're having a global spiritual friggin' revolution of sorts. And it's... people. Some say it's orgasmic in some sense because we're like, man, sharing's caring. And it's one teeny tiny, we're not going to get there like overnight. But I'm telling you, man, a few people, I'm pretty sure, saw that exchange. And they went home and they're like, you know, do I need two pillows? You know what I mean? Go out to the street, give out a pillow. Do I, uh, you know, pss, does my car need all four wheels? You know, X, just whatevs. Whatever you got that's like you could do without. You're like, this is, you know, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. If you got two, two to three good wheels, give somebody an extra wheel, dude. Don't be a wheel hog. Hogging all the wheels to my, oh, my car's got to have four wheels. So I felt good about that. I felt like we're changing. He's, he's changing. I'm changing with the situation. We're all changing to, and it's growth. And growth is, it'll hit you. It'll come in shapes and forms and sizes that you might not regularly recognize but it happens all day every day now those are the pros ladies and gentlemen building beautiful bonds friendships exchanging drinks quenching thirsts the cons there was a little bit of hesitation not gonna lie to you there was a little bit of just an instant now, you don't have too much time to think about this somebody handing you a free drink you gotta really quickly be like yes thank you no thank you you know Initial thoughts that went through my head. I'm like, I don't know this fella. Beautiful fella. There's no reason why this would be some sort of a weird ruse, but my mind is a, you know, it's a, it's a traveling caravan up there, man. It's just like yours. It's going through stuff all day, every day. So I'm like, free drinky poo. My heart says yes. My brain says yes. My tongue is thirsty. That's another yes good feelings all around but at the same time I'm like man what it you know you, you don't know so I'm just quickly assessing the situation looking at this man uh, overall he looked I would say in an initial gaze I would say he looked uh, normal what you know whatever like you know good solid dude normal dude but you know I'm quickly looking for you know marks of do I see anything that's like, oh, this is, uh, this is, you're not supposed to take this drink from this man. I didn't see anything, to be honest with you. There was a little, tea, there was one thing that I did see, but it could literally, ha and it's literally my, it's quick decision making. I saw a little teeny tiny, just a scratch on his hand, and it was just a regular scratch, right? And in an instant, I'm like, this is a regular, but like, I get sometimes carried away with thoughts, because I'm like, what if it's a... Uh, my mind went there. I'm, I don't know why, but I'm like, what if it's an AIDS scratch, dude? What if it's an AIDS scratch? This guy's just handing me a drink with his AIDS scratchy hands. And I don't even know if it's transferable that way, but I was, that, that's the thought that went on. Like, I'm like, does this... I just want to... You know what I mean? You don't want to ever, like... And that's, that's not the case. I, I don't think so. Like, there's no way to tell. I don't even know if AIDS gives you scratches, but there was a little, like, you know, there was a little blemish, a little mark, but I'm like, man... What if it's, and I'm like, nah, it's, it's, it's probably not. It's probably not. 
It's brand new. I see the Thames is right there. He's clearly just stepped out. It's no big deal. I'm like, no AIDS on this man. Or maybe he has AIDS. Maybe he has HIV, dude. Maybe it's fucking like being kept suppressed and all. Maybe I don't, I'm not judging. I'm not. But, uh, it, and that's fine. If I know it's suppressed, if you're suppressing that shit and you had me a drink and I know we're gooch, I'll take it and I'll drink it. No big deal. But if it's like, if, if it's just like flaring up, if it's like new AIDS, then you know what? Like, I, thank you. I'll still leave you. That's a beautiful gesture. But I just don't want like coffee with a dash of AIDS. Not to say to each their own. I'm not saying any. I'm just saying for this guy, right now I'm all like, you know, the eczema and the allergies. My, my plate is like, I'm all good. You know what I mean? You're, you know, I, I got plenty to eat right here with the things that I, you know, but that's, but that's just me. But did the, the initial thought instantly go, cause you never know, but no, you give the people the benefit of doubt that they're not going to hand you a AIDS infused iced coffee and you go to town on that bad boy. So I overcame that and this all went down in a, and so the, all this went down in an instant in my head. I'm like, AIDS guy, no AIDS guy, hands me coffee. Take the coffee, don't take the coffee. Does his hands have AIDS? And I'm just like, he doesn't have AIDS, dude. He does why would he, you know what? But it's just, and I didn't tell him all this. Off chance, should you be tuning in? I thank you for the beautiful iced coffee. I'm completely a-okay. And, and that, was, that was beautiful. But again, like, it's just like, whoa, free drinking poo. So other cons that might not have anything to do with this beautiful fellow because he is technically just a messenger the iced coffee place the tims made a mistake gave him an extra coffee and uh, to, uh, how do i know you know and then my, your mind goes to other places you're like how, how, you know what if there's who knows what they you know what, i'm not saying that this happens but what if there's you know what if somebody friggin you know what if how did, how did the interaction go between him and the tim staff did it go smooth was there something upsetting the staff that day is there you know is there a little bit of jizz in that iced coffee is all i'm saying no, you know what's up with the why is it a little bit creamy on top you know I'm just thoughts that instantly go so i'm like am i potentially slurping you know jizz and the i wouldn't be able to tell because it was really sweet I'm gonna say no. And if it was, it was mixed in really diluted. And you know what? Overall, like, if you told me now that uh, there was jizz in there, I wouldn't have known at the moment. And it's no different than telling, uh, you know, you know, uh, friggin' making making a meal for your child and somehow infusing the vegetables in there but not telling them that they're in there because they're still young and they don't want to take the vegetables and you're like man it's good for you but like billy's just having a hard time with the carrots and the peas and shit so you gotta i don't know make some sort of just oh here's here's beef covered in chocolate billy and it's it's got carrots and beans in it <laughs> billy's such a sucker dude he falls for that shit still it's been two years billy get it together but the point is I wouldn't have known, and neither neither would Billy. Would both of us have benefited from varying degrees, different you know s sorts of benefits? Billy's growing stronger, and he's so young now, he's got his whole life ahead of him. Or I'm still, you know, what what even is time? Stupid time. Point is that there was that thought. And those are, again, those are extremes probably not going to happen. There's probably not going to, I didn't taste anything and there's probably no jizz in that coffee. What else could go wrong, you ask? I'm glad you asked because what if, what? Because he did say they messed up my drink. Okay. What if it's now infused with too much dairy? What if it's, because I normally, I'm like, uh, I drink my coffee black. And if it's an iced coffee, it's just a regular iced coffee, which is basically to me one cream one milk or one pack of sugar in there a mixture of those bad boys you got yourself uh some ice and coffee and there you go you have a regular cup of iced coffee i'm bing bang boom with it baby i don't get schmancy with it you know i don't go like 10 percent this five percent that bring in a couple of fellows from overseas to grind the coffee uh, you know into each other's mouths and then sneeze it onto like you know just too much sometimes it's like just get a coffee and move on but so i'm that guy so I'm that, but I'm like, you know, you never know. What if, what if there's like three 
and I normally get milk. What if it's like three little teeny tiny packets of cream? And what, what, would, what, would, what would happen then? What would happen then if it was just like three sugars and three packs of cream and now I'm like oh what a great what a great idea I'm out on a walk it's been a while the weather is nice everybody's out there just walking cruising down the streets and all of a sudden your boy sit with a major case of explosive diarrhea now I'm being compromised on the streets with a major case of explosive diarrhea because I'm like let me take this free drink now there is shit oozing from the side of my pantaloons now people are talking now people are whispering. Children are pointing with their index pointing fingers. Mommy, mommy, why is that man leaking doo-doo from his pants is what they'll say. I won't be made a fool of. Okay, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, we'll fool around, we'll fool around. We'll fool around, but like, it could have been just a major case of like, you know, five packets of, they messed up my order because I don't know how they messed it up, whether it's like overload of cream in there and I'm just like, God, that's your first day out walking. It's been a while. Everything's just like, you're still, you know, you're get it, it, it takes a little bit to get back to just like walking people, you know, you, if you live in places where it's like nice outside all day, every day, you don't realize what you know some january february gets really chilly willy up here so we don't we you know i personally try to avoid going out as much as not not that i avoid it but i don't see going outside in january february as much which uh you know going back again to spring and summer you gotta it takes a couple of days for you to just like let's how do we even start walking again it's little teeny tiny baby steps that's how but i don't want to be a victim of explosive diarrhea because i happen to take a drink which was, to no one's fault, just infused with too much dairy. Because they messed up an order. What, what if there's just too much sugar? What if there's too much sugar and I get up, like, you know, I get all hyped up. I get all jacked up on sugar. I'm all just running around city, running around town, all jacked up on sugar. Uh, going into business meetings, I don't even, I don't even know what this business is. But I felt like fucking showing up and... Let's close this bitch right here, right now. I'll fucking, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll order Chinese takeout if you have to. And all of a sudden, that whole company's getting friggin' like, you know, oh my God, we're boosting the sales. How did this happen? Offers are being made. And then all of a sudden, I go back to my regular routine of consuming red coffee. And they're like, bring that back. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. You're going to have to do, uh, do it on your own. And it's just, I want to be careful out there is all I'm trying to say. Or uh, another horrible situation that could happen is that like, he, what if he ordered this cup of coffee? And sure, it looks like a regular cup of iced coffee, but well, I don't know what, it, maybe he got like, you know, maybe instead of like one sugar, he did like 7.5 packs, you know, 0.75 of a sugar pack and then like went 1.25 uh friggin dairy in there you know what i'm talking and, and then what if i drink that and i'm like my god this is the best iced coffee i've ever had next thing you know i become addicted to this particular brew of iced coffee and i'm out there trying to cinderella this bitch trying to look for the perfect god and i'm I, 20 years i'll spend there like oh what is the concoction that i fell in love with uh just on tuesday evening when I was out for a stroll and you know it, that we've seen life's just friggin spiral when when people are presented with something that they don't know oh how was it you know how did you how did you make this concoction what what's in the mix what's in this recipe so I don't want to be a I don't want to be a victim of that I it stops right here it, it already stopped yesterday but like that's that's where I draw the line Just want to share that with you boys and girls but it's you know nothing uh negative came out of that interaction i'm very happy with everything that went down i'm very pleased uh you know 
got me excited. It's because it's spring, it's summertime, and then all of a sudden I'm still walking, walking, beautiful day outside, and it's the first time that the motorcycle gangs, the motorcycle clubs, the motorcycle cyclists, cycle, uh, cycling through the town. The, you know, when you see a gang of motorcyclists that are just like, we're on motorcycles and we're in a gang. Or, or maybe they're not in a gang, but it, they're all dressed very similar. It could be a, and we'll get into it, but that's what it is. It was the first time in a while that I had gone out and yeah, I saw a gang of motorcycles and it was beautiful, which made me think of things like, what's it like being in a biker gang? What's it like being in a biker gang? And I asked myself that question what would it be for you to be in a... What would it be like for you to be in a biker gang? So many pros and cons to this game of biker gangs. You know, what is even a... what A gang of bikers. Or a motorcycle club. Let's, let's unpack this little package. A motorcycle club. A, a club... Consisting of motors... Cycles... And clubs motorcycle clubs you know do you enjoy traveling in large packs but also separately and on your own then uh, motorcycle clubs gangs are for you then because that's exactly what you do there's no if and or buts about it baby we're traveling in packs but we're going there separately, which is the best of both worlds, really. And it's not just about, you know, a lot of people are like, man, what, what do I need to, you know, how do I even get into this line of, you know, uh, motorcycle club activity, motorcycle gang activity, how do I do it? Do they just take anyone? Can I just, and yes, I think. And it's not just about, it's not just about what you think it's just about. It's not just about motors. It's not just about cycles. It's not just about fumes. It's not just about exhausts. It's not just about a nice leather seat. It's not just about uh, catching a couple of uh, flies whilst traveling at 175 miles an hour on the highway. It's not just about the wanderlust. It's not just about it's a lot of it's a, it's about a lot of stuff, but mainly it's about community. Mainly it's about familia. Man, mainly it's about a bunch of men and women getting together and riding. And if motorcycles are the modern horse, then dare I say you're the modern cowboy. So once again, giddy up, saddle up, let's go for a ride. I want to join a motorcycle gang, of course I'm afraid of having nothing around me. And I, I don't do particularly well with like, you know, extreme speeds. And I prefer to have more wheels, a nice roof, some doors be so like there's a desire for me, but like then that's you know it's uh and we'll get there. One one step at a time. Maybe I'll start, you know, removing panels off my car one day at a time. And we start off with a four-wheeled vehicle at one point with a roof, some doors, a couple of side mirrors, windshield wipers. And before you know it, strip them all down one item at a time. And if I'm on two wheels, half a steering wheel and a couple of loose pedals, is that a motorcycle? Are we cycling now? Am I in the members only cycles club? Clubbing? With a... So I'm just like, you know, it's... The desire is there. But we'll see. But we'll see. It's, and it's just... It's, it's not just... And motorcycle clubs are not just, you know, it's... A, it's a motorcycle club, but it could also be a front and it could easily be a front for a private members only social club members only which oftentimes is mistaken for some sort of like you know 
what are these fellows and ladies up to? There's always, it's so easy to be part of a motorcycle social club. Members only private social club motorcycle. So easy to be just like, oh, that guy or that lady's into, you know, dealing drugs, moving, pushing weight, pushing, pushing and pulling guns, uh, extortion, money laundering, drug trafficking, human trafficking, traffic trafficking. A lot of times that one just like flies right under the radar. It's like people focus on the main thing, but like what about traffic trafficking? You know what I'm talking about? Just people who are trafficking. And, and, and you know, as a, as a person who'd like to, you know, one day maybe be out there clubbing and uh, cycling and, and motoring around, it just, you know, I don't, I, I don't like that. I think that's like, uh, I think that's just like, you know, that's just like a dramatization of like reality, man. Yeah, does that happen? Could, could that happen? Are there motorcycle clubs that are fronts for members only social clubs that are backs for a barbecue joint? And everybody's always talking about oh, this business for the front of, you know, it's a front for this, but nobody ever talks about a business that's a back for something, you know what I'm saying? So barbecue joint, that's a regular barbecue joint. That's backed up by what? Members only motorcycle club. It's a social club, members only, private. But there's pros and cons to everything. Do you like wearing matching outfits? Leather matching outfits? Then yes. A members only private social social club concentrated about motorcycles and cycling and motoring around that's a place for you. You can get leather you can be leather mommies and daddies. And then you can that's the thing, you can have meetings. Are we the type of club that's gonna be, you know, do we go assless chaps? Do we go you know how far do we take or do we go you know, are we going, what kind of motorcycles, first of all, what kind of motorcycles are, are we driving around? Are we riding around, are we cruising around some, are we riding around some choppers here? Are we, is this, uh, you know, is this, are we riding around cruisers? Or is this like a, are we, are we doing retro new wave ninja biker gang? You know what I'm talking about? Just like yellow, red, green, purple, all different color suits, fucking tight. And you got to have meetings about that. And that, that takes, you know, so the cons of it, it could be a little bit, if you're like the type that's like, oh, I got to do things my way. It may be a little bit difficult to like coordinate a whole lot of members. And it's hard to keep a track of all the members. Oftentimes we'll lose members whenever we're dining out in the middle of the road and at a local middle of the road diner. We'll get there. 27 strong. We're having pancakes. We're having sausage. We're having uh, bacon. We're having potatoes. We're having flapjacks. We're having just syrup on top of everything. We're getting a little bit of whipped cream. We're getting coffee. Uh, bring another round of coffee. We're going to be riding out of town. And it's going to be a long ride. So you want to be jacked up on coffee. Uh, we're hauling ass now. 30 minutes. Uh, going from the middle of you know where to the other place that's in the middle of you know where and all of a sudden it's like oh man did we get everybody t yes maybe but no you it's 2070 how are you going to keep count of everybody and you're all adults and you're all independent doing your own thing maybe somebody was in the john and took a little bit too long to get out and now you're one member you're one member short man you're one member short and it's like I thought we were blood in blood out I thought this is like you know I thought you don't leave no man you don't leave no members behind. You don't, uh, no, no man gets left behind. Some men sometimes do get left behind. No man or woman should get left behind. Sometimes though, if you're like, you gotta be like, how many times do we gotta tell you, John? How many times do we gotta tell you, man? It's like, let's, let's wrap it up. You've been in there for like 20 minutes. Let's wrap it up. And this is how you get left behind. It's the third time. Now you're, now you're being, you know, it's like, pull your own weight, man. 
and easily it's a lot of egos in this because it's bike clubs gang fucking we're I don't know if we're rough and tough but there's going to be fucking clash of the whatevs dude it's going to be like oh who's in charge of this and ideally it'd be like you know let's focus on what's at hand right here uh, the wheels on the bikes go round and round and it's a circular shape reminding us all to let's let's share responsibilities what is you know why have so much pressure on one or two people where it's like let's all get pressured out so the point is ladies and gentlemen you got a you got a lot to think about there you got a lot to think about you know it's not just you know uh, don't get into this game thinking you're just gonna be like yeah i'm gonna ride around in a motorcycle and get myself a little sidecar for my uh pooch or for my uh lady or for my you know just uh fucking get a sidecar and you want to fill it up with a large bucket of just crabs you think this is a this is, you think you can just ride around town with your motorcycle and your sidecar and a large bucket of crabs son with the sticky fingers uh, oh sticky fingers one minute uh, butter fingers the next all that grease from the butter because you got to fucking like if you're if we're having lobster today baby like let's like you know squeeze a little bit of lemon on top of that lobster but that's the you get greasy hands next thing you know you're wiping out and it's just no bueno for our brand really because it's like what have you been about we're about family community a nice outfits for the you know nothing you know Freaking nice outfits, dude. What's wrong with that? Point is, ladies and gentlemen, that it's uh, it is Wednesday. Certainly is Wednesday. And you know, a lot of times people think about different things. What even is you know? What is life? Is there reincarnation? And I ask myself that question sometimes, but you know, what if you come back as a friggin' toilet plunger? What if you come back as a toilet plunger? What if objects were indeed alive? What if they had some sort, because it's made of materials. It's from the natural world. You know, what if you get, go into the ground, you come back as a toilet plunger? And it just like, it made me realize that we gotta like, we gotta use our stuff, but like we also like every once in a while, like whatever you have in your household, somehow get rid of it and like make sure it comes back to some, cause that's the thing. I've been in this spot for some time now and I've had the same toilet plunger for like a good time, a good chunk. And this thing, if it's, you know, cause you never know, man, if it's just like sitting there, just like fucking in the, that's, that is, you know, what is a thing? What is a go through? I'm just going to be sitting here for years. And the most exciting part of my life is that, you know, this fella just happens to overeat and really destroys the toilet bowl one morning. And that's like, that's your, that's the thing that you got to look forward to. You're like, yes, yes, at least I'm being used. Or is it, or is it like, or, or do they get resentful? Do they be like, oh, is, is that all you think of me? Is that all I'm good for? Is that all I'm good for? Just come to the rescue, Mr. Plunger Man. Oh, let me, let me, let me get in there. Let me put my lips around the toilet bowl where it's all like doo-dooed up and try to undo this mess that this fella made. You know, so I, I think about that and I'm like, man, I, at one point or another, I'm definitely going to be like chucking it hasn't even been used that and that's the, and that's the sad thing it hasn't even been used that much several times yes we did have to go to you know there were it happens to the best of us and but it it, it did leave a thought in my i'm like you know it's, how long do you gotta you gotta like do they talk amongst themselves all the objects that are like you know because you don't even know fam what if the toothbrush is like communicating to the friggin toilet plunger like how much more long how much longer you got you know based on like a toothbrush's life expectancy he's like i don't know couple of weeks a little you know a couple of months depends 
And the plunger's like, man, you're lucky you get to be chucked out. And that's the, that's the thing that they look forward to, getting chucked out. Because getting chucked out means, you know, sure, you're going to be like, you're going to have to wait. Again, you're going to have to, it's a waiting game. And you're going to have to end up at some sort of landfill for who knows how long. Do you get recycled? What even is recycling these days? Many people do ask that question. Do you go get tossed in the garbage? And what is, what is that? Are you going to end up in some other place and just like waiting to like rot under the sun until you become part of the earth again? And different components takes different, like what if the handle's made of wood, the suction cup is rubber. Is that like, and then do you reincarnate losing half your body or material like, you know, and that's until, I, and that's, that, that just keeps me up sometimes. Not often, but I, it's, it's a thought. It's in there. It's in there, man. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, I just want to say this, that uh, after what just happened recently with the Dalai Lama, I've been giving it some more thought and I come to the conclusion that if you're practicing long-term celibacy I just I don't know I don't know how I feel about that to be very honest I just came to like that's and I get I get it if you want to for whatever reason I'm not judging anybody doing whatever with their will if like you, you know several months you're like I need a I need a break from everything I just need to you know I just need to you know be uh, maybe even a year you're like you know what I'm gonna take a year off all sorts of relationships are all sorts of you know uh, I'm not gonna seek out anything I'm not even gonna you know go to town on myself I'm just gonna lay low and what I'm gonna do a year or two whatever I get those or like several weeks you're like you know what I'm gonna like I'm not gonna watch porn for however long it is or maybe you already and that tweets their own or not but I'm just saying overall at the end of the day when I think about it if somebody if I know somebody's been like it just it, it makes me nervous Years and years of celibate just makes me nervous because it's like a it's like a friggin' pressure cooker. What are you, what are you doing? How does it even? It's just too much power for one man or woman to be like, I'm gonna like. It's it's basically say it's, it's no different than somebody be like, you know what? Everybody else is eating, not this guy. Nah, y'all y'all go out and eat. Y'all go out and eat. I'm gonna just you know nah, not gonna eat. And it's like. And you may even be able to, you're not going to be able to survive, but you'll go on for, and, but, you know, and that's probably like not the best analogy, but it's just it, just, it does make me nervous. If we're doing whatever, and I know you've not been like, you know, flicking your own bean or uh, just yurking your own meat or something, it's like, you gotta, it makes me a little bit like, again, it's a little bit of time, and varying degrees different people different lifestyles and everything I, I get it but if we're talking about years yeah if we're talking anything about man I don't even I, you know it's like what is going on there because that's the type of fellow or lady that will have uh, you know if you're doing an operation if you're if you're there in the middle of the field man it's you and the team and the team that you went in with it's it's we're going in there with i'm giving we're putting each other's lives in each other's hands i i can't have you being all friggin' like knee-jerk reaction sort of like i need you to be loose baby i can't have you be like i've been nutted in 10 years what what are you so that's that's a little bit of a that's a little bit of a thought that I've had. I, you know, if you're like, so please, this is a public service announcement, because uh, horrible things do happen. And it, people who, it's, uh, you know, yeah, it's, we're humans, yes, but there's that animal that makes up the human. It's the body. That's a, and you're supposed to, you know, exercise it in different forms, and yeah, busting a nut. Uh, friggin' going to town on your little, you know, it's all part of the game, and it's, uh, you know, it's, I'm just, and again, these are just my opinions, but after, it, it just makes sense, dude, I've, I've never seen a, never heard any good stories come out of, like, long-term celibacy, never been like, man, this fellow, or this lady's been, you know, and they, 
it just never works out. So this is a, not a PSA, but more of like, you know, it's, it doesn't end well. You do weird shit. And then all of a sudden people have to be like coming up with excuses and saying shit like, oh, it's just an old man that's doing, you know, just, uh, just an old man doing an old man being playful and you know and that's that's how they get you man next thing you know you got a cock in your mouth uh what happened there old man just be oh, old man just being playful you know so i guess the takeaway the moral of that story is ladies and gentlemen uh, change takes you know all of us working together bringing in good gestures, doing this, that, and the other. Uh, good things and great things, just like that sticker, let us know. And just like the freezing of the soccer ball on the ledge of the window, and just like the flipping of the old cigarette pack and having it land on the side, these are all, you know, coincidence, maybe. Uh, signs from you wanting to read into things sometimes uh, yes man, yes but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna have a good time that doesn't mean that we're not gonna be doing amazing things and thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed these uh surroundings that we've got a chance to share with each other i hope this uh video you know made you laugh at one point maybe made you think about something at one point uh, maybe you were just like, man, I need something to drown out the sex because I'm just plowing my wife real hard and I can't have the neighbors all up in this biz. So you put your boy in the background and I'm your cover, man. I just be talking and you're just, uh, uh, mm, right there, right, mm, mm. Let's edge together. Edge. Mm, 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 mm. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Don't move. What are we having for dinner? Because you got to change up. What are we having for dinner, by the way? We got to change the conversation because like, so you got to focus on something else for a second. And then you go back to that right there. And I'm right there. And no one's the wiser while you're plowing away, having a good old time. And where can you find these videos? I'm glad you asked one more time. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays on Instagram. Follow me there. Subscribe on YouTube for the full length videos. If you'd like to fiscally support the show, Check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadrian. I'll be back here again on Friday. Have a great time, everybody. Peace out.